it's time again for me to unbox a new bike. It was about May 2018 the last time I had the pleasure of in this very spot wearing this very shirt of unboxing a new bike and um, now in 2023 the 30th of March it is that time again and I'm quite excited. So this one uh, it's not a brand new bike, it's got about 200 miles on it, so it's pretty new and it's got some good components on it which I was quite excited about, hence why I bought a second hand one and not a brand new one. But it's nearly new, it's about 200 miles, it's actually owned by a man that worked at a bike shop, so thanks Matt. And there is one difference to this bike than the usual bikes I've bought and uh, you'll find out about what that difference is soon, or maybe you've read the title. Um, so you already know it's an e-bike. I don't know why I tried to make it a surprise. But anyway, let's get into it. Strong. Nice. Maybe that needs a sharpen. Excuse the garden. We have dogs and they pee and it makes the grass vanish. We have grass seed there, but I thought I'd do it in the same spot with the same shirt on. Just for nostalgia. Alright, get into this. Oh yeah, I'm so good at this. Are you ready for the first peek? <laughs> I'm a little bit excited. Are you ready? It's actually my first video in a little while as well. Oh, it's just cardboard. <laughs> oh no. I thought that was going to be... Oh! <laughs> you can't see it, I can see it. Look. It's... Wait. It's got a pink stem. <laughs> Wow! Oh, Bergtech! Leisure Lakes Bike Box. Good packaging, so thumbs up to them. I actually have bought a few things. So it's got the same seat that I like! I'm sure that's a charged spoon. That's the ones I've got on my bikes. I didn't even... Well, am I in short? I didn't even do that on purpose. So hopefully what you're about to see now is me lifting the bike out in all its glory. Um, but what you're probably about to see is me find out that e-bikes are heavy. Oh, this is actually lighter than I thought. This is great news. I thought I'd struggle, but look, one arm, and even me. <laughs> He's not very strong. This looks very cool. This worked for the Canyon packaging. Let's see if it works with it. <laughs> it does. And there we have it. The Orbea Rise M M H15. Well, I don't know if I should mention it now or later, but the, all of the frame is Invisi-Frame. Which, I was looking at buying a new one of these, and it was something I was dreading doing. So, so that I didn't need to do something like that, I went on eBay and saw if there was a second hand one. <laughs> with the Invisi-Frame on. And it's on, and it's applied really well. The frame looks absolutely immaculate. I think what we'll do is we'll um, chuck the front wheel on. In fact, I'll show you that now. Again, I'm very sorry if all you can hear is birds. So up front, we've got the Michelin Wild Enduro front tyre. And luckily, it's got sealant in it. I can hear it. You probably can't because the birds are, well, they've stopped making a racket now. Um, but also, it's got the 203mm rotor on it, which I think was an option on these. And uh, luckily, this one's got it. Hopefully, the front brake's not been compressed and shaken. We're about to find out. Oh, no, it's went in. Oh, that was easy. Look at that, in the bike stand and everything. I'm just so good at this. Nice. Right, that's them off. Right, oh, we're gonna have to spin this round as well. That's fine. Right, these go on here now. That's the wrong way. So it's gotta go on like that. Oh, yes. There we go. Right. Let's get all this tape stuff off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I think I'll just time lapse this. Do the. How do I. I think that did it. Are you time. No, time lapse. Ah. Well, what I'll tell you, I've got the sweep of the bars completely wrong. Let's fix that now. I can't believe this is my bike. <laughs> Brakes are really nice. Shimano SLX. Oh, 
And they feel, I just had to put my foot on the paddle, but I've not got the paddles on yet. So, I don't know if you know, but for about the last six years, I've exclusively on my bikes had the one up polymer pedals and it's no surprise that I've changed I'm gonna try these HT polymer pedals I got black ones and we're gonna put them on and see if they're any good they look good they've got a bit of concaveness to them whereas a lot of the other polymer ones are pretty flat so we'll see if we notice the difference with these let's put them on there we go oh, you do I never knew that. Look, you don't get a freewheel. It spins in the hub. I didn't know, but now I do. And it's got a wee chain guide. That's good. No drop chains. Right. Um, I think everything's on. I think everything's on. Should we try it? Okay, you join me outside. Before my first ever ride on a mountain bike e-bike that's mine. And look, I've, I've done my first mod already. I got these from Silk Graphics, <laughs> the orange ones, because they're black and they're very stealthy and they're very cool. But I mean, it's Fox. I wanted orange ones, and I've got the orange and the Kash Kashima. Um, I mean, look at this thing, and the so this is just how it came. I've not even cleaned it. I mean, it's just lovely. There's my dad's e-bike. That's kind of what made me want one. You can see the InvisiFrame. frame got the shot kind of tucked up in there that's neat and the back there's the 140 mil rear that's where you charge it and for the first time since I've got it that's the on button oh that's the on button let's push it goes blue we get the screen <laughs> oh off I think maybe I'll push that button oh an eco what's it got trail Boost! Let's start, an, let's start an off, I think. And uh, I'll go for my first ride now, but there'll be a video on this coming soon. So make sure you don't miss that.